The Minister of Education and Sports has promised to continue promoting Skilling Uganda program by imparting youth with employable skills. The State Minister for Higher Education, Dr. John Chrysostom Muyingo, wants the youth to embrace vocational skills and utilize the professionalism and skills achieved in the training to work hard and develop themselves and the country socially and economically. I want to thank you. What you have done is to address the problems of the land. They used to fight under the poor country. But the more we have many of you acquiring such employable skills, the easier it's going to become to get rid of this property you talk about. The minister toured the institute and commended the administration for complying with the SOPs, especially the vaccination of COVID-19. The minister also officiated the graduation ceremony of Sasira Technical Institute in Nakasongola, where over 356 graduates were awarded certificates and formal and non-formal courses. While at Nakasongola, Dr. Mingo assured schools, parents and learners that government is ready to reopen schools on the 10th January 2022. Whereby we started with a medical and training institution, which we opened in September, universities and other kind of institutions opened in the 1st November. Now on the 10th of January, all the other schools will open up. It is therefore important that we start preparing ourselves to take all our children. The area member of parliament, Nakasongola, Nua Mutebi, commended government for emphasizing vocational skills in the country by constructing technical institutions. You go and open up, you go and start doing wiring of those other houses. Of course, there is no need for you to go to go abroad to seek for a job. But if you you, 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 you don't really um, put, em we don't put emphasis on these technical institutes and of course don't really employ our, our parents to, to, to bring our children and study these vocational courses, then we shall be losing a point. Oh. Story by Fred Kasmante for ABC News. <laughs>